In, in the future, very likely, but not in the near future, because these are very expensive systems. So we will still still rely on the S300 uh, uh, air defense complexes. Uh, what has been voted in the Bulgarian parliament is that um, actually it's mandated uh, already by the parliament, we just need to implement the, the parliamentary decision now, is to provide missiles that have certain parameters beyond the, uh, the regions of normal, normal control, so that they need some technical work uh, which cannot be done in Bulgaria. Uh, for us, we cannot uh, recover them, but the assumption is that Ukraine alone or maybe with uh, some other allies would be able to uh, make these uh, missiles usable for the purposes of air defense. Oh no. Well, currently, since the elections in uh, early April of this year, uh, the, the parties that uh, support uh, Ukraine have a very substantial majority. That is sufficient and several, several votes already have been made by Parliament, including a declaration in support of Ukraine. The same is about the Cabinet. Our Cabinet have uh, prepared and our Prime Minister signed the joint declaration with President Zelensky in July during his visit to Sofia. We have a very clear understanding that uh, uh, supporting Ukraine is uh, not only a moral obligation, it's in our strategic interests and uh, we are very consistent uh, in that regard as long as uh, you know it's political turmoil anything can happen so i cannot uh, uh, promise that this will be the case in two years again for example but uh, currently uh, the support uh, for ukraine has a significant uh, is based on a significant majority in parliament